You know what? I miss being the height where I can ride a fucking scooter. That's that's the biggest thing I miss. I love the scooters that like you smack your ankle on and then you cry a little inside. I am 20 years old. I'm 22 years old. About to have a college degree. I am 20 years old. I just turned 20. I'm going to go home to a town of a thousand people in bumfuck Wisconsin. I feel like I'm an adult now since I've let go of schooling for the first time in literally my entire life. And I'm going to work at a gas station. I just realized about a month ago that I have enough credits to graduate a year early, and this is not me bragging because it's not a brag because I'm fucking terrified of graduating early. I do this for the rest of my life. Because <laughs> then what? Like, I have literally not thought about this at all. It's so scary graduating and leaving. Just fuck that. Just fuck that. I just don't know what to do. Like, I thought... I'd have something like set up and I'd be going somewhere. Completely and utterly fuck that. Wait, I did think about this. So my best memory from childhood that I can remember was when I was like 12. Starting up like silly small businesses, like a restaurant in our front yard. I was really determined to build a tree house. Like neighbors would come out and participate. Um, and like order my food and stuff like that so so I tore apart wood from a barn dog walking for one day me and my friend decided we wanted a dog walking business so we like dug out the creek and I cut myself with a saw we did it for literally one day during our sleepover and then I passed out because I was bleeding it just felt like you could always do anything that you wanted to <laughs> build little paths and set things on fire like kids do. I vividly remember like a moment where my mom was tucking me in for bed and um, my sister came in in like their pajamas and we were all just goofing around as a family and I remember that was the first time I realized Oh, this isn't going to last forever, and I would like it to. Because I knew I would end up having to do shit and cope with shit. And I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. I still don't want to do that. Every day is its own <laughs> stress. Being young was a shield from all of the things we're coming to terms with now. Once you like step into adulthood, you just like get punched in the face with a lot of different formative life experiences. Looking for apartments, um, freaking out about going to the doctor, going to the dentist. Like people just don't, we don't know how to do this shit. It hits you at a different level, like the experiences that I've had within the past couple months since uh, graduating, I'm like, <laughs> these are all like big people experiences. And I know I'm like a big person now, but there's still big people experiences that I have never faced before. <laughs> and we have to do all of it. And um, I think we're all just realizing like, oh fuck, this is what it is? Is it? I just don't agree with the people that are like, you've grown past your age of uh, imagination. Cause that's stupid. That's so fucking stupid. I go in public like this every day. Like the professional agenda is old people not wanting to allow people who look under the age of 45 to enter the workplace. Stop having more fun than I am. Stop um, experiencing more joy than me. 
stop um, seeing wonder in all the mundane shit that we have to trudge through. People say don't act like a kid. I think that's probably what they mean, but they don't want to say it. Like, I really think the like anti-piercing, anti-tattoo, like this anti-creativity movement, first off, is like literally every dystopian thing ever. Um, it's, I feel like it's more counterproductive. It's meant to kind of assimilate people. And I feel like it really ruins a lot of the positivity that could come out of work um, by like forcing everyone to go in this like little box. And I am still a very like professional person if you would believe it because I am so whimsical. <laughs> you really have the capacity to be both and you can use the other one to emphasize the other one. Like they can, they can work hand in hand. You know, we, like you grow up and you leave your high school friends, you leave your grade school friends. Um, and you like never really, like you're, you're not gonna get that type of like playtime back you now because now you're an adult and you're not allowed to play on the playground. <laughs> Kids know more than we do. They don't know about the prison that life becomes, but they do know about um, magic. They, they know about um, color. They know about um, the beauty of music. When they hear music, they don't know how those sounds are made. They just know that they exist. But um, that kid will always be inside of you. And I think it's just about getting in touch with it. Everybody's gotta live And everybody's gonna die Everybody's gotta live You gotta live None of that made any sense But I've said it and